Hi, I'm Jeff, and this is Techno Day at Life. Today we'll look at Thread. What we will find out is what is Thread, how does it work, and how does it compare to Zigbee? And the real question of the day is, do we need to worry about our smart home? So the Thread Group was formed in 2014 to develop an efficient standard from the ground up for the Internet of Things devices, which means smart home and more. It's focused on creating a mesh network like the Zigbee, but the Thread is IP addressable, has cloud access, and has AES MAC encryption. It also has a BSD-licensed open source implementation called OpenThread. Some of its developers are, of Thread are Google, Apple, Arm, Samsung, Qualcomm, and even lock company Yale. So it basically has all the big tech companies working on it. So Thread is a low-powered mesh networking technology based on IPv6. It uses 6 low pan and IE 802.15.4. It is closely related to the connected home over IP project, which Google, Apple, Amazon, and Zigbee are all part of. That project is creating a royalty-free open source code base for home interoperability that can use Thread, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. The Thread Mesh has four different kinds of devices, a border router, a leader, a thread router, and an end device. Thread uses border or edge routers to communicate to and from the internet or other networks. It also provides Wi-Fi connectivity for your network. You can use as many routers as you want for redundancy. Then you have a Thread Leader. It manages the network and coordinates network decisions. The leader is dynamic and self-hosting. If one leader goes down, another one arises. You can have only one leader at one time. A thread router routes traffic among devices using the mesh topology and can also become a leader. You can have up to 32 thread routers in one mesh. Current examples of thread router are a HomePod Mini, a Google Nest Wi-Fi router, and NanoLeaf Essentials bulbs. Again, any thread device can be a thread router as long as it is powered. Finally, you have the end devices that are low powered. They can be battery operated or plugged in. You can have up to 511 end devices per router. So you can see that there is an abundant room uh, to grow your smart home with, with thread and with the current generation of home devices. A current example of an end device is the battery-operated radiator valve actuator from Siemens. Now, Zigbee and Thread cover the same territory. They both cover the networking layer of our device. Thread, though, is missing the application layer that Zigbee has, so Thread is application layer agnostic. So a company can use any application it wants to control the Thread device. Other differences are that Thread uses a QR code scanning on a smartphone for pairing where Zigbee is proximity based. Security on a Zigbee device is AES-128 at the network level, but on Thread, security is AES-128 at the Mac level. Mesh management is self-selection and self-healing in Thread, whereas in Zigbee, it's centralized. Now, the interesting part is when we pop back up to the application layer, which, where Thread doesn't have a default one, but Zigbee does. Now, as you remember, Zigbee is part of the Connected Home over IP group. Well, they have created a Zigbee application layer for Thread called Dot Dot. Dot Dot allows Zigbee and non-Zigbee devices to communicate whether they use Thread, Zigbee, Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth. What this means is even though Thread and Zigbee are competing for the same devices, they could potentially communicate seamlessly with each other in future product iterations. So do you have to worry about a new Internet of Things protocol? No, things are being taken care of and eventually it will be a painless process, hopefully, to integrate all your devices from different manufacturers without using some kind of adaptation layer. Well, that's it for today. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye. And a special thank you to all my supporters who without your support, this channel would not be possible.
And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you.